It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it's coming right up on Madden NFL 23. Open back in 2003, have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field, where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Prescott looks to throw right away. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left ran the deep in route over the middle and the ball was right where it needed to be really good trust between quarterback and receiver really good completion a first down throw for Prescott They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Here, they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. 
You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should get picked up a holding call. Up the middle, here's Hallian. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. On second and nine, Prescott swinging this out for Pollard. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. and really gets them amped up as they go forward. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Looking to throw, Prescott, he finds his man complete. It's Schultz, and they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Second and two. Prescott to throw it. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. A gain there of 21 yards. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. And he doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game. And who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Prescott. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Well, talk about a rhythm breaker right there. They've been moving the ball well. Drive it started beautifully. That one's going to hurt. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. After the penalty, it's Elliott. Ooh, the juke. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. 
Marr able to put this one through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. After the made field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Sanders has it over the middle. Now the ball comes loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. They find some open field here. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. But they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 33. Right back to Sanders on first down. And able to get this to the 31. I'm wondering, partner, if they might need to sub him out for a play or two because after that long run he just had on the previous play, he might not have all of his breath back. Yeah, and they went right back to that well. Different result. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Throwing his hurts. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. One yard away changes what your play calls are going to be. And he'll get blown up behind the line 
of scrimmage back at the six. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. Second and goal from the six this time. Hurt sets up to throw it. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So that drive spanned five plays, and the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. On second and 11 now, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And the Eagles with a dime look. Six DBs on third down. Now Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Prescott from the gun. Over the middle complete. That's Schultz. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 
25 yards the pick up there and also a first down pretty explosive run on that inside handoff and when you're a runner of his caliber you don't need a big crease you really don't but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack aren't we not only they're controlling the initial contact they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people so from philadelphia territory now here's a first and ten at the 36. Prescott off play action. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41 yard line. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Hindsight is 20 20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Gotta assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, open man is Noah Brown. And he's gonna be taken down at the 28 yard line. Hardy sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. On second down, it's Pollard. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down in less than a yard from the shotgun it's prescott this will be caught just inside the 10. and the cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one a field goal helps but a touchdown gets you the lead that had to be the message transmitted in the huddle and they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive and even better than that set them up with a first and goal So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Prescott now. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Cowboys are able to move back in front. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown Brett Maher on for the extra point and it's through and that makes the lead 10-7 
So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this. But if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch. And it's also tough to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there, freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts, and his throw is incomplete. And Devontae Smith, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Here's Hurts to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to roll him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete and certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense and now they get to turn it back to their offense. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Now Dak Prescott of the offense heading back onto the field. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. 6-6, six six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw 7-on-7, seven seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, the ball never hits the ground there either. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they work this out past the 25. A good pickup there, 21 yards. 
That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Prescott on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. Gets past one man. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. First down carry by Elliott. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Philadelphia territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. 58 yards rushing for him now to this point. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. On second down, Elliott. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. To throw is Prescott. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception.
So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Prescott. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. The Cowboys on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. Here's Prescott. And it's caught. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Elliott will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. now to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Hurts. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And that time, the tackle by Malik Hooker. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second down, back to Sanders. 
And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Well, they set the power set out there, and their job is to be man-on-man -man and move people so they can run the football. But that time, too many men didn't get moved in the box defensively. They end up throwing him for a loss. On third down, he'll drop to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Here's Brett Kern now to punt this one away. This first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. Talk about angling that one perfectly, partner. We know the ball can bounce anywhere, especially how it's shaped. But that one, as if on cue, goes out of bounds perfectly. Perfect indeed right at the one-yard line. Excellent coffin corner punt. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Out of his end zone, Prescott able to hit his target lamb. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him, 15 big yards. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Now Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing. Prescott. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick, his second sack of the night. Well, obviously, the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play, but the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit, too. Denied open windows, erased the quarterback's targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. 
Now a give here to Pollard. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. This is taken at the 18. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. But first down, Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 36 yards on the play. Now that certainly solidifies how to attack this two-minute drill right before the half. I don't think they were going to try and run out the clock, but now after that big play, their thoughts are certainly of trying to score and get some points before the half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watkins. And he will have a first down as they're in the field goal range now at the 30. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Elliott is good. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17-10. to Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little. Maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in and had just enough to get it done. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Cowboys. And they've had all sorts of success thus far tonight throwing the football as they're on pace to throw for 300-plus yards if things continue the way they've been going. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far.
It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This will be caught by Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But well, whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's the result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands. And oftentimes, the receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Watkins. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got him in. It's Brown. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. A part of their struggles in the first half was their inability to convert consistently on third down. But how about this well-designed play? Gave himself plenty of options and able to get the hook up and keep the drive going. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and ten at the 48-yard line. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he is going to lose yardage here. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And a little floater there is incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And it's third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. They'll look to throw here. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 30. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now back to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. 
To throw again on second down. Hurts. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders from three yards out. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And a man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Zeke going to get it on the option. Gets by him at the 25. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First and ten, Prescott. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On second and ten, Prescott, left side to Lamb. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first.
They'll drop to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Only needing two yards on second down. To throw is Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down. And that's exactly what he did. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Play action now, Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Now coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll throw again. Prescott, he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Tenth carry now, and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But I believe a Cowboy was there to get it. He was, and Dallas will maintain possession. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Prescott on third and two. Dancing to his left. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't get out. And that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. The kick by Marr is good. And with that, they take the lead here, 20 to 17. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. They start on the ground here at Sanders. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones... They have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. 
The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Another run here with Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys 36 yard line. 36 yards on the play. Outside hand off to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. His throw incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Hurts. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Scott. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Looking to throw. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Now that's a quarterback who's in charge out there right now. Wants to throw the ball on third down. Doesn't find anyone open. Tucks it away. Takes off and picks up the first down. Not by a little, but by plenty. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Running right. Here's Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in this third quarter. When you talk about a battle being won in the trenches, that touchdown right there, a lot of credit to the offensive lineman. Yeah, when you watch them surge across the front, they really created great space for the runner to get in. Elliott on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not all now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's the option going right. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. 
And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. On third and one, here's Prescott. Man open left side is Brown. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Prescott to throw it. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside and break it inside. Really well run route. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On play action, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Give him 30 yards there. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. This is caught. Touchdown. Noah Brown from three yards out. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here. And they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That time, a six-play drive, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. He'll look to throw. This is Smith with a grab. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Throwing his hurts. He's got Brown on the out route complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right, and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Ask any pass rusher, and they'll tell you any quarterback who lines up every time and goes straight back in the pocket, that's who they want. But when they have to deal with a Jalen Hurts who may come at them from any angle and can get outside of the pocket and run, that's a nightmare for anybody who has to rush the quarterback. And I love Jalen Hurts' athletic ability. Almost a 4-6 runner. This guy can get outside the pocket and make plays with his legs as well as his arm. 95 yards on the ground now for Sanders. He's got a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Here's second and two now from the three. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. I haven't met a defense coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. Hurts sets up to throw it to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. <laughs> he definitely wants that one back. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, <laughs> trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Boy, hard 
hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Another one to C.D. Lamb, he's got it. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? So first and 10 now from the 30. Prescott now. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, that's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. The Cowboys on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out in the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Now Elliott. And the D not yielding much 
coverage there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? From the two now, second and goal. Looking to throw, Prescott. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. So still time remaining here in this fourth quarter, but the touchdown there puts them back out in front. And you and I both know that their defense will not very subtly remind everyone that they started all of this because they held firm on the last drive and only gave up a field goal. Gave it back to the offense in a tie game and said, okay, your turn now. Make something happen. And they went down the field and scored. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And out now come the Eagles. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He's got a man complete! And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20. This one over 30. Oh, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player, watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the Do board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Hurts to throw. Over the middle to Smith. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. They'll set up to throw. Left side here to Sanders. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. 
They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to make it fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. He's back to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit and they can throw it downfield. Now Dak. That's complete to Lamb. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game.
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Prescott. He's got Elliott. And quickly another first down, but tackled inbounds. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Prescott. Back to Elliott, and he's got him again. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So it all rests now on the right foot of Brett Maher. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This from long, very long range. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Boy, that's a big-time letdown there. You work yourself in position to win the game, but the kick winds up no good. And now you've got to regroup as a team, get the energy back up, and get ready for overtime. And make sure you pump him up, too. He may be needed to try and win it again later. First down, Hurts. Here we go, this to avoid overtime. And this one is incomplete. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So it's the Eagles who will get the first chance to go down and find a winner as they'll get it here, and we are back underway. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. We continue play, but if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet. He's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and 10 all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. A little dinking and dunking that they're doing. It, at some point, is it appropriate to maybe take a shot? It is if you feel good about it. But otherwise, you do what a coach told me a long time ago. 
take what they give you, but make them tackle. In other words, get it to one of your guys in space. If he makes someone miss, that could turn into the big play you're looking for. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Room here to run. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. They go with the ground game, pick up the first, now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality of a play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50, they feel like they're in the strike zone. All right? You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to them. And now this first drive in OT continues. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He'll get this out wide to Scott. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, Keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller, and it's working for them in overtime. On first and 10, it's Hurts. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Three yards remain for second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Got an open man, it's Scott. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. And can you feel the tension building? Because I'm feeling it, all right? I've got the, I've got the sweaty palms here <laughs> with each play because of the enormity of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime, and they're handling it well as this drive continues. Here's Sanders. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 122 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks. And you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense was quicker. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. 
Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it'll be fourth down. I know we saw the pass and the completion and obviously the resulting loss of yardage. To me, that play broke down with the blocking on it. Because if you're going to try and swing it that far outside, that blocking's got to hold up to give your guy a chance. And the defense, they weren't fooled at all. No, not at all. But were they aggressive on that one? So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. The kick by Elliott is good, and they have regained the lead. So they do get the short field goal here to get them the all-important overtime lead. But, Charles, you wonder if they'll wind up ruining the fact that they were able to get down into the red zone, yet not able to find the touchdown that would have won them the game. Brandon, you're absolutely right. In overtime, when you get the ball first, the hope is your opponents never see the football. But now they're going to get a drive to try and win it, or at least keep the game alive with a field goal. And I'm getting a dictionary out to look up ruin. <laughs> After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Well, it's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime or obviously Charles a touchdown to win it. Yeah, and I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? Overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back, keep everything in front. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Here's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Offensively, back-to-back -back really nice plays. This defense, they've got two timeouts, maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea and try and get themselves settled because we're an OT. This is big time. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And they'll work this down inside the 30. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. Off the play fake, Prescott. 
That's caught again by Schultz. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be. And he is in for the score. Absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A great game, partner. Spectacular finish. They needed at least a field goal to keep the game alive. They do one better. They get it in the end zone and end it. And I don't know about you, but I'm worn out. That type of a game takes it all out of us as well, not just the guys on the field. What a tremendous finish. And as you noted, were they going to go and try and get three and keep the game going? And that wasn't good enough for them. They got the touchdown, and that's why we're able to say goodbye. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.